tell me, what do you think has prompted that in your view? Is it those rising US yields? Currently, the move is more on a dollar broad base uh, basis. If you look at what is happening on the euro dollar, on the Kiwi dollar, for example, we are looking at almost the same move, about a percent stronger on the dollar across all these major currencies. And also a bit due to the technical side, because um, the resistance on the dollar yen was at 108. So when it broke, it triggered some stop loss uh, uh, buying of the dollar yen as well. So a combination of that, but the primary driver is still that the US yields are close to the striking distance of 3% currently. Where's dollar yen going from here? Um, it will be interesting to watch out for the Friday's uh, Bank of Japan meeting. Um, we see a 40% chance that the Bank of Japan might actually raise the yield target this time around. Um, so if it really comes through, whether it is April meeting or whether it is a few months later, the yen is actually going to react pretty sharply on the upside. Okay, how high? Um, we have a target of 100 in six months basis. Uh, keep in mind you have two risks um, on the Japan front. One is the risk of Abe potentially resigning, which uh, his former mentor uh, Koizumi actually alluded to June being a potential date for him to step down. The second being that the Bank of Japan would uh, surprise the markets by tightening on the EU side um, sooner than expected. Okay, let's talk about what to expect from that BOJ meeting. Kuroda told CNBC that this accommodated monetary policy is basically here to stay, sticking to that line that he's been repeating for some time until inflation starts to normalise in Japan. Uh, first of all, how far are we away from that? And given the fact that we are seeing an improving labour market, uh, wages perhaps starting to show signs of normalisation as well now in Japan, will that be the catalyst for the inflation that Kuroda needs to make his move? I think we need to differentiate what he means by an accommodative policy stance. It is by no means saying that they wouldn't raise the yield curve because by raising the yield curve when inflation is recovering, it is still an accommodative policy stance. So um, make no mistake that they could actually shift on the yields sooner than uh, what they are referring to. The second point being that it, it will be a surprise to the markets because they have no choice but to insist that the um, yield curve adjustment is not forthcoming. Um, they have basically cornered themselves into this situation because they are holding down uh, the yield curve. And if they were to give any uh, uh, signals that they could move soon, the markets could front run their decision. So they could not signal for that matter of fact. Um, and therefore, it can only be done via a surprise that they um, raise the yield curve target at a certain meeting and communicating that uh, it remains accommodative. So markets should actually be prepared for such a surprise. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.